see what we got, y'all. Hey, how we doing everybody? Hey, look here. Today we got a trip, y'all. We got a trip. I got I had some footage products. <clears throat> Excuse me, with my last trip. We may have to combine some things. I don't know. It's it's being edited. We gonna hope it's gonna work. We'll see. Anyway, today's a new day. Today's the 3rd of January. All right, we are fishing Lake Gilmer. We are on a guided trip. Um, hopefully we're gonna get on some big fish, y'all. We're gonna start off the day by saying grace, giving thanks to God for another day, y'all. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for another day that was not promised to us. Thank you for allowing us to wake up this morning. Thank you for allowing us, each and every one of us to see another new year, dear Lord. Please be with us throughout this new year. Please help it be a prosperous new year for each and every one of us, dear Heavenly Father. Please be with each and every one of my subscribers and their families as they travel today. Please watch over, take care of them, and protect them. Please be with my family, watch over them, take care of them, and protect them as well, dear Heavenly Father. Please watch over us as we're on this fishing trip. Please be with our world leaders, dear Lord. Please give us world peace. All this nonsense going on in the world needs to be turned over, turned over to you, dear Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys and gals. Hopefully, we are going to get y'all on some big fish today, y'all. All right, we're going to turn this sucker around. We're going to go on a boat ride. We'll see y'all here in a minute, guys and gals. Look at that. Look at there, y'all. We're gonna put y'all on some more. So we're using our uh, medium 10 foot pole. We got a double jig rig, right? We got that uh, TCO, Texas Cajun Outdoor uh, original shad on the bottom. And we got that TCO, uh, that ghost on the top, y'all. We sitting here live scoping them. No, we don't have to live scope them. This old bridge here, I've known about it for years. I don't know, 15 to 20 years I've known about this old bridge. I can pull up to the same spot, catch fish without live scope or with live scope. Yes, I'm using live scope today. It's showing me exactly where they are. This lake is funny this time of year. It went from, I don't know, 15 degrees a week and a half ago to 70 degrees today. So it's kind of hard to find. Anyway, I'm taking y'all on today, showing y'all a few little, you know, tips, y'all. Look, I like to put uh, about 18 inches apart, my two jigs, right? I like to put me a split shot, a number seven. I put two of them. Sometimes I put three. It just depends on the wind, y'all. I like when I toss that sucker on top of that pile. I like for it to go straight down, right? I like to be just right down on top of it. Also, on a windy day, it's probably about 12 to 15 right now. I like to stay away from them. I'm about 15 foot, 15 to 20 foot away from my pile. All right? That way I'm not spooking them. Now, I'm not catching them every cast, but about every three or four casts, I catch a good one, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming along. stop my jig right above that pile and just jig it right above that pile y'all this this brush pile on this old bridge has been here for years and years and years i just got hung up on some of that brush 
I'll tell you what, I've noticed there's been four or five boats come between me and that bridge. You see that? Every time a boat comes through here, them fish scatter. It'll take them a minute, three or four minutes, five minutes, they come back. It's crazy. I sure hate to lose them on uh, on TV, you know what I mean? Guys and gals, you can always book your trip. TCO Outdoors. I'll list my number on this video, but it's 903-387-2532. Texas Cajun Outdoor Jigs, look at that. Little lemonade, y'all. Get. y'all seen me catching some monster crappie y'all <clears throat> I was uh I had a guy to trip today right I don't know how else to even talk about this but I really wanted to bring it up because my customers felt so uncomfortable that they sat at the back of the boat these people paid me three hundred dollars cash to come out here for me to show them a good time right Alright, y'all seen in a video, 
I pulled straight up to one of my brush tops and we were catching good good fish. And one part of me feels like that I shouldn't bring this up in a video, but the other part of me, the godly man in me, you know, says you need to talk about it. People need to be aware. Alright? Guys and gals, my trip's over with. I literally didn't film 99% of the trip because of the language. When we started a trip, it was me, one boat. There was a couple other boats on the lake. They wasn't catching fish. As soon as they seen me catching fish, you know, four or five fish, they started surrounding my boat with customers on it, right? It's a good Christian couple. Uh, they probably never heard, they don't cuss, they don't talk that way. These people that come near my boat, y'all, every word out of their mouth was a, a, a was filth, actual filth, dirty, ugly language. My clients asked to go to leave early because of that, y'all. If you're a fisherman and you come around somebody, please use common courtesy, y'all. I would never, yeah, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I say a few ugly words from time to time, to time all right? I'm not perfect, all right? But I try. But I promise you, when I'm around somebody, I spoke the way I want to be spoken to, y'all. This is going to go in my video for the world to see because I hope it changes one person's attitude when they get around other people, y'all. It made me sick to my stomach to hear some of the words that were coming out of them guys and ladies' mouth. All right, another thing, guys and gals, re be respectful, all right? If you see a 26-foot boat sitting there with people catching fish, don't come within two foot of their boat, y'all. Have a little bit of respect. Wait till them people leave, you know? I mean, the, the reason I'm speaking out like this, the reason this is going into the video, I could care less if I lose subscribers or not. You have to have respect for people, y'all. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And if you see this video and you were sitting there beside me, literally tied up, beating into the side of my boat, that's wrong of you to do that, y'all. You should not do that. All right? The way I was raised, hey, you don't, you don't do that. All right? Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But anyway, enough about that. We're going to carry on for the trip, guys and gals. Hopefully get to show y'all some fish. I don't know. It's getting pretty late. But, man, I had to get that off my chest. I'm not kidding. Guys and gals, please, use a little bit of common courtesy. Especially when there's other people around, you know, because you, a lot of people don't want to hear that garbage, y'all. That's junk, that's garbage, people don't want to hear it, all right? All right, let's see if we can get on some fish, guys and gals. The wind's done picked up, but I'm going to try to get y'all on some big crop. All right, y'all, here we go. So we had, had some boat. We, we trying to stay way away from them. They're real finicky, especially with the wind this time of year. And it's crazy, because it was in deep water last week. 15, 20 degree weather. Now it's 60 degree weather. They're in 11, 11, 12 foot of water. So they're real finicky, y'all. We're trying to stay away from them. was in a bind on that one. God, no, I didn't, I, that's the biggest one of the day. 
Go on, these saw what go on. Let's see if I got a bigger one. Let's see if I got a bigger one. I don't think I do. No, he's a little bit smaller. But y'all look at him fish, y'all. Appreciate y'all coming along today. Appreciate y'all watching. I said I wasn't gonna, I said I didn't hope I was gonna catch another one, but y'all, oh, it just keeps on and on and on. <coughs> I'm telling you, y'all, we got some big fish, some monster fish, y'all. We two away from our limit now, so we're gonna try to catch two more, y'all. Don't do what I just did. Don't reel your, don't reel your. Uh, jig all the way to the top. I didn't mean to do that. I tell my clients that all the time. Don't ever do that. Look what I did. Look what I did. <laughs> but, thing about it is, y'all, I'm not sitting on no big, huge top of crop. They're, uh... Sorry about it. The top is literally over there where that other boat is. See, these three or four of them here is kind of what you call uh, snapping them, what you would call snapping them. It drops off from about eight foot to about 11 foot. And he's sitting right there on that, right there where it drops off. He's sitting right on top of it. I better not do that. I better not boat clip him with that little bitty rod. But... <gasps> Look at that. Look at that, y'all. He bit that TCO. Look at that. That's that old strawberry surprise, y'all. Hey, I said 15 minutes ago I wasn't going to catch no more fish, but hey, I guess, uh, I guess if they want to keep buying, I reckon we'll keep catching them, huh? Hey y'all, I can't say it enough, look, if you can, if it's windy, if there's a lot of boat traffic, try to stay away from these fish. If you see them on your, on your side scan, on your down imaging, whatever kind of electronics you've got, or if you just know where a pile is, you know, try to stay away from them, y'all, especially when they're not in a pattern. You know, these fish are finicky. They run and they just chasing this bait. Stay away from them. Try to cast two of them, you know. I know everybody, this is just my opinion now. Everybody, you know, runs up there, right on top of that pile. You see, I'm, I always stay away, you know, 15, 20 foot from that pile and just lob it or cast it over to them and, and jig my jig over the top of that pile or right over the top of where they lay in. 99.9% of the time, it works out way better for me, y'all. Hey, look, I really do got to call it fits. <clears throat> it's getting uh, getting a little dark. And, uh, well, it's going to be dark here in a little bit. I, I cannot say it enough. I appreciate y'all following me, y'all. Look at it. See what's down there? It's in solid grass. It laid up in that grass, <laughs> chasing that bait, y'all. Look, God bless each and every one of y'all. Thanks for coming along during this trip. We will see y'all next time.